yesterday in Detroit, the Council of Orthodox Rabbis <coughs> unanimously expressed their opposition to Proposition 3. Proposition 3, which would make getting an abortion part of the Constitution, runs contrary to the Torah, runs contrary to the Bible, runs contrary to the values of life. It's not an element of choice of the woman. If you really want to have your choice, choose what you do. Choose what you engage in. Very few abortions are for reasons of rape or incest. Very few. The halacha mandates that in certain cases you can perform an abortion. But what my co-religionists quote from the rabbis and from the words of Rambam, Maimonides, that you're allowed to tear the infant, the fetus, limb by limb, is a misquote. It's only permitted where the life of the mother is in immediate danger. The mother will die if the fetus is not aborted. Mother is already living. The mother is breathing. Fetus is not considered living until it's born. In such a case, the mother takes precedence over the, over the fetus. But in all other cases, abortion is prohibited it is considered killing, and it is considered almost murder by the halacha. It's not murder because it's not a viable life until it's born, but it's as close to murder as possible. An example would be, you have a person on life support. The person on life support if they were given the proper medicine and the proper nutrition can become viable. And someone decides that they're taking too many resources from the community. The medicines are very expensive. The nutrition and the procedures are also quite expensive. We're gonna cut the losses of society this person's life is not worth saving. And you cut off the medicine and the nutrition and the person dies. What would you say about that? You would say that the person doing that was a murderer. Well, the fetus is on life support. The fetus is given life-giving fluids from the mother and protected from diseases by the antibodies of the mother. Cutting off the fetus from the mother is the same as cutting off a person on life support. It's even worse because in many instances fetuses especially once they hit five to six months, can survive outside of the mother. This proposal would permit abortions at any time. It also has all kinds of incredibly uh, crazy and vile and sadistic parts to it. The reason why it can be promoted this way is because the values of the community have been perverted by the left, by the communists and the socialists who hate religion and hate the principles of religion. Those who believe in statism 
don't believe in the greatness of the individual or the sanctity of individual life. You believe only in the state, therefore the individual has no value. And if, according to that, if individuals don't agree with the state, then they can be punished, ostracized, killed, mutilated, not just embarrassed. The source of this type of legislation, this type of attitude, comes from Karl Marx and his bedfellows. It does not come from Moses. It does not come from Hillel. It does not come from Maimonides. It does not come from the Baal Shem Tov. Nor does it come from Rabbi Moses Feinstein. All who will quote the halacha, promoting, saying that, that, that Judaism promotes abortion, are lying. They are either knowingly lying or just don't know enough to realize that they're lying. But those who support abortion support killing. In fact, the Torah says, whoever spills the blood of a person within the person shall be killed by the hand of heaven. What does it mean, shofik dama odam ba odam, who spills the blood of a person within the person? That refers to an infant, a fetus, who is within the mother. And he who spills that blood, God considers that as murder, and God will punish the person appropriately. Whether the society can kill a person for that is a totally different thing, but it is considered by God to be of the worst violations of a human being. Please, let's get it straight, what the Torah says, and not express something that is the opposite of the intention of the Torah. Yes, to save a mother's life, you're allowed to kill the fetus. In a war, to save your life, you're allowed to kill someone else that's going to come to kill you. But that doesn't mean that this is what we want to do or we would like to do. It's only in the special, special circumstances.